Good morning. Welcome to Art and Fashion. We're here with Dan Kudrako. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, so tell me about your art. Well, I have been practicing art, I'd say, since I was a child. And little by little, I just kind of grew up and never gave it up. I work as a print production artist and I'm a printmaker by trade and I like to screen print all the time. And is screen printing <laughs> mostly what type of printing you do, or do you venture into like mono prints or? Yeah, the I do it's some intaglio printing. Um, screen printing I do primarily because I have uh, equipment and everything. I set up a studio and I have I run a shop also in Medford that where I have all different technology, laser engraving and large format printing, but. Really what it gets down to is I like to oil paint the best. So mm -hmm. oil painting is where it really, you know, I've let loose into the arts and kind of not really as fixed and tight and planned artwork, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you do more oil painting or more printmaking? More printmaking. I don't, mm -hmm. oil painting, I like to take time. I'm not a painter where I'm just, oh, I'm going to paint this in an hour and then go sell it. I like to, you know, kind of cherish my work and really, you, you know, it, yeah, work you know, it work it's not it. something you rush, you know, painting is mm -hmm. a passion, it's a release, it's not, you know, I don't know, it's not for everybody. Can you say the printmaking you do by trade also? That's yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I got into printmaking really when I was studying my undergrad back in 2003, 2004, and I figured out you know, I learned how to screen print then, so it's over 10 years now that I've been printing. And I really found screen printing as a way to pr reproduce my art, you know, in multiples rather than just have one finished piece. And it's really a combination of graphic design, illustrating, drawing. So, you, you know, you can use photography, really. And that's kind of, I'm an all over the place artist where I practice in all different means, so. I was just going to ask, prior to making a print of your work, is it mostly hand illustrated, is it graphic design and digitally yeah. manipulated, or a little bit of everything? It's, it really depends on what I'm going for. You know, sometimes I'll have a photograph that I really like that I want to screen print, so I'll use a photograph or I will, you know, just do drawing. I could even just be sitting somewhere and just sketch and then be like, wow, that would be a nice print. So I, you know, a lot of them will be illustrations where I kind of come up with a concept that has a message and you know they're not always the most positive message but they are messages to you know kind of make people aware about different you know things. Mm -hmm. Now what came first screen printing or your interest in making multiples of things and the the job or? Well, I, I mean, commercially, I got into it later on, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't like to do it commercially. I kind of keep that very low key and don't really do too much commercially. Like I do different events, like Bradstock is a music festival that used to be in Sable and now it's in uh, Sun Riches. So I kind of do it hands on right on the spot for the event. And then I will, you know, donate half the money to the actual uh, campsite campground itself so it's mm -hmm. kind of like I kind of do it on a different level also where I bring it places and do it on site so people could actually see that this is a person printing and not just you know like a puzzle piece in a machine. Besides Bradstock do you do a lot of live art? Yeah well I used to do more when I had the time I used to paint more and I used to paint at live shows I used to paint a lot at Webster Hall in Manhattan and I think what else? Um, just other music festivals and events. I like live painting because when you paint in the moment, you, you know, with music, you kind of have a different environment. And I just don't have a fixed means. If you see my paintings, there a lot of them are just kind of linear work of figures and bodies and movements and lines and shapes. So that kind of really flows when you do it live. And I need to get back into that. They get some of the energy of where yeah. you're at as well. Exactly. A lot of people, they come up and they'll say, hey, what, what are you painting? And I say, I don't know, I'm painting you. I'm painting <laughs> just the environment. It's just flowing. So. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we be back, we'll talk about some of your art shows. All right. Thank you.
Hello everyone, I'm Corinne Murphy Caro and I'm the founder of TheDailyBlue.com. The Daily Blue is all about spreading positive news about Long Islanders and we want to hear from you. Tell us your stories. Our show hosts are waiting to hear from you. Sponsor an ad or advertise with us. Call us now, 631-761-9223. Welcome back. We're here with Dan Kudraco. So tell me about a few of the art shows you've participated in or going to participate in. Yeah, well. This, this month of September coming up, will be I'll be doing a solo show at the Brick House upstairs in the loft. I'm not positive of the opening date yet, but it's going to be up for the whole month of September. Um, I had mentioned Bradstock, which is coming up. We'll have a shop set up, and I'll be screen printing on site there. And um, some past ones, I, I work with the Patchogue Arts Council and with the Huntington Arts Council. And although Spark Boom just kind of shut down, I used to do some shows with them as well. Mm -hmm. Do you collaborate with other artists as well? Yes. Um, I did this mural at Blue Point Brewery on a van for years, kind of started years ago, moved away back and forth, and I worked with another artist, Jess Clark. She helped me do some painting on the van. Okay, great. Now, do you have any words of wisdom for young artists looking to find their path and looking to become professional artists yeah, or find a job in the arts? I would tell future artists, being that I'm in art education myself, I would suggest that future artists, they just stick with it. They practice all mediums and don't just limit yourself to one medium. When you limit yourself to one medium, you're kind of shutting down everything else that you can create with and you need to use multiple mediums to find those tools to make that one medium you care about most even better. So, Are there any mediums that you haven't used yet that you'd like to explore? I, I mean I, I'd like to shoot film and I've worked with different musicians and artists kind of traveling the country filming and I never really learned properly how to edit and I would love to learn professionally how to edit film and you know use some bigger better cameras for filming because that's something I appreciate and enjoy doing. Now a lot of your experience are you mostly self-taught or did you go to school for art? Yeah I have a bachelor's in fine arts and currently I'm working on my master's in art education now and I kind of skipped eight years to just work in the field after my undergrad and that's another message I would send out you know, not everybody works the same, but I would highly suggest working in your field and getting field experience before just going right in from a bachelor's to a master's. I think, you know, practicing your field is very important. Yeah, kind of finding the direction you're going yeah. in and then getting better at that. Yeah. I go to school with a lot of students and they're just at their undergrad and they still, they have no experience. They don't know what they're doing and they really need to you know, find themselves before I think you really decide that you want to master something. You know? Now, if somebody wanted to see more of your work, where is a good website or Facebook for your, um, well, your pieces? Well, I have a website. It's called thegypsycollective.com, which is a network of artists, you know, where we have different programs, different classes, different studio spaces, and just different projects that we kind of network and hub together. But so there's a lot of artwork on there. Also on Facebook, we have uh, the Gypsy Collective on there as well. And is the Gypsy class, co the Gypsy Collective, mostly Long Island-based artists? Uh, it's a mix. There's there's a lot from upstate New York. There's some from out west in California and Washington State, some Oregon. And do you do any commissioned work for art? I have. I have. I've done some murals. I've done. Uh, just portrait paintings. I also have done, you know, a lot of designing and printing for t-shirts. So. And what's the way, best way to contact you for that? Uh, my email address, which is kudreko, which is k-u-d-r-e-y-k-o at gmail.com or submissions at the gypsy collective at gmail.com. All right, great. Thank you so much. Well, that was very insightful about your artwork, and it was a pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on, and thanks for tuning into The Daily Blue.